Welcome to ProBeta's Quick Video Tutorials. In this video, we'll be discussing Document 270, Manager's Final Checklist. Please note that this document is only available to premium users. The objective of this document is to assist the manager or team member on a similar level to ensure that the objectives of the ISAs, International Standards on Auditing, have been met during the audit and are suitably documented. This document can be found under the Finalization folder under the Engagement Working Papers folder in your Caseware document library. This document is a checklist in the format of a questionnaire and does not contain any tabs. In the Questions column, you'll be guided to consider various matters to ensure that the objectives of the ISAs were achieved and documented. In the Yes-No column, state whether you found any exceptions during testing by using the Yes-No drop-down box. If you select Yes, then the Performed By column will be signed off automatically. Alternatively, if you select No, a comment box will appear under the procedure where you can document your exceptions and comments. When exceptions are documented accurately, it will assist you in determining where more work may be needed. Where exceptions were found, you'll have to sign off manually by clicking the checkbox in the Performed By column, indicating to the reviewer who performed the work. The final column is the Reference column. Here, you can insert the reference to supporting documentation or other documents within your Caseware file if necessary. Additional paragraphs can be inserted after any paragraph in the document. Simply right-click on the paragraph and then click on Insert Paragraph. A new dialog box will be displayed where you can choose the type of paragraph to be inserted, with a preview of the paragraph at the bottom of the dialog box. After you have selected the type of paragraphs to be inserted, click on OK. The paragraph will be inserted after the paragraph that you right-clicked on. If the Insert Paragraph procedure is disabled, it means that you are on a lower case view user level than set by the engagement partner in the probe firm settings. You can edit paragraphs by enabling editing. Right click on the paragraph you want to edit and click on Editing Enabled. The paragraph will turn grey and you can then make the required changes. When you are done making changes, right click on the paragraph again and deselect Editing Enabled. If the Editing Enabled selection is disabled, it means that you are on a lower case view user level than set by the engagement partner in the probe firm settings. You can hide paragraphs and procedures in the document by right clicking on the paragraph or procedure and then clicking on Hide this paragraph. If the Hide this paragraph selection is disabled, it means that you are on a lower case view user level than set by the engagement partner in the probe firm settings. To delete a row, right click on a row you have inserted and click on Delete Row. You can only delete rows that you or another user have inserted and will not be able to delete any pre programmed ProBMMX content. The Delete Row option will hide if there is any text in the row that you are trying to delete. The cell must be cleared before its row can be deleted. If the Delete Row item is disabled, it means that you are on a lower case view user level than set by the engagement partner in the probe firm settings. For your convenience and easy reviewing, we have built in different views for this document. To access the views, you can click on View and then click on the relevant item you want to view. Default View will show you all the completed and uncompleted items that were not hidden or ignored. Ignored Procedures will show you all the procedures that were ignored or hidden. Uncompleted Items will show all the procedures that are not completed. Exceptions will show all the procedures with exceptions in the document. The last section, where relevant, is the Assertions section. 
By selecting a specific assertion, the document will show you the procedures that relate to that specific assertion only. You have to conclude as to whether or not all the objectives in the ISAs were reached and are suitably documented by signing off the document. For more information, you can visit our website at www.probemmx.com, email us at probesupport at probeta.co.za or call us on 010-595-QMMX today. Thank you for watching.